hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. <laughs> no problem. No problem, thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. The bomber tattooed on his back is of course a reference to his potent punch power and not in any way insensitive to the tragedy which unfolded in this arena when Ariana Grande performed Manchester will never forget. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And uh, you know what time it is, don't you? It's that time again. Weapon of the week! <laughs> weapon of the week. This week's weapon of the week is not Ross Birkinshaw. But if you want to watch Ross, uh, sorry, read Ross Birkinshaw's book, Soldier On, my roller coaster road from range to ring. Forward by Alabama Graham. English Commonwealth, WBO European title winner, Ross the Boss Birkinshaw. 5 dollars on Amazon and at all good bookstores. Not good enough to be weapon up week, uh, Ross, but... Hey, I'm Dennis, I've got a book out now! <laughs> to Dennis, believe and achieve, we did it, Ross the Boss. Go on, Ross. Ross the Boss always used to get his sent in fantastic shape, so you've got to give him credit, and he got in there and won title, so well done, Ross. Good luck, Ross! Right, so Ross, you're not weapon at week. This week's weapon of the week is a joint one. I'm going to put two people out there this week. Johnny Nelson, company man of the decade, and Coogan Cassius, the arm specialist. We call Coogan the arm specialist because he's got this thing about biceps, men's biceps. He's always going on about them. He is the purple hacky of Basildon. But Johnny Nelson and Coogan, what, what, are, what have they been doing this last week? They have been behaving like weapons. You've only got to go on IFL, aren't you, on social media to see it. People are losing their minds. People are losing their minds. It... Shocking. Shocking behaviour, what's going on. But point I'm trying to make is these people need pulling up on it it's like I get pulled up on what I do I get pulled up all the time on a daily basis but I'm all right with it aren't I a lot of people are quite fragile now Coogan's a bit insecure isn't he and wants to be liked and all that and sits on fence and I can understand that because he's running a business and he's got a lot of people dependent on him but pull them splinters out your arse Coogan please pull them out and have an opinion but getting back to rubber Johnny Nelson. Now, Johnny Nelson, right? We're talking about a man here that Sky wheel out every time there's a pay per view to always go against the grain. Now, people actually win thousands of pounds listening to Johnny Nelson's tips. Now, Johnny Nelson, if he says so and so is going to win, back the other guy because the other guy will win. I'm telling you that's how I bought that Merc out there. Listening to, going the opposite way to Johnny Nelson's tips. Johnny Nelson said that Takam was like George Foreman and Evander Holyfield rolled into one. <laughs> he said Conor, Conor McGregor had beat Mayweather down stretch because of fitness. He said Kel Brook beats Golovkin. Could you imagine Lloyd Unigan in with Marvin Agler? Or John H. Stracy in with Carlos Monzon. You wouldn't back them to beat Monzon and Agler, would you? So why would we back Kel Brook to beat Golovkin? Because he's going to go with the narrative, isn't he? Because it's people from his gym now. 
This has got to stop. This bias in boxing has got to stop. This fence sitting has got to stop as well. It's become a joke now. YouTube channels, they know they are sporting icons, Atman, IFL. They've all become Hearn's little playthings, haven't they, on social media. Nobody dare say a word. No. I dare. Because I've got big gojones. But nobody else dare say anything, dare they? But weapon behaviour from Johnny. Go and watch Johnny Nelson's last interview on IFL. That is weapon behaviour. And Coogan's the IFL owner. He's allowed it to happen. Pull them splinters out your arse, Coogan, and have an opinion. You'd be more popular. You would. You would be more popular. But this week's weapon of the week, Johnny Nelson, you company man, and Coogie Bear, the purple hacky of Essex. All right? <laughs>